What's happening there guys and welcome back to another video. Kim Kardashian wasn't well known back then many years ago. Instead, she was working as an assistant to her well known acquaintance Paris Hilton. Keep watching the video to find out exactly how Kim Kardashian went from Paris Hilton's assistant to billionaire. Number 5. Paris as a catalyst for Kim's success. Even while it seems like ancient history today, the relationship between Hilton and Kardashian was really the catalyst for the now megastar's climb to stardom. While shopping and partying at once popular Hollywood locations in 2006, when Hilton was subject to the most intense media scrutiny, the famed pair was first sighted by photographers. Their relationship later became tense as Kardashian quickly established herself as a tabloid fixture, but their friendship has truly been a roller coaster since they were little. While Kardashian and Hilton may not be as tight as they once were when they often stroll together on red carpets, they've managed to reclaim their BFF status. The two often work together on their many projects and enterprises, including Hilton's revolutionary 2020 documentary, Hilton's 2021 Netflix series Cooking with Paris, and Kardashian Skim's brand of shapewear. Giving credit where credit is due, Kardashian has really been more outspoken about the role Hilton played in helping launch her career. Because this moment in pop culture history should never be forgotten, here's all you need to know about the relationship between Kim Kardashian and Paris Hilton from how they first met to where they are now. Number 3. Beginning Sometime in the 1980s Although it's unclear exactly when Hilton and Kardashian's connection started, Hilton has said in several interviews that the two had been friends since they were young kids. They both grew up in Los Angeles, but they went to different high schools, so that eliminates one scenario. Nicole Richie was a childhood buddy that they both had. Kardashian had made many appearances on The Simple Life while serving as Hilton's assistant when she and former bestie Nicole Richie filmed the series. With her organizing company, she even assisted Hilton with arranging her wardrobe as shown in the video clip right here. Really, it's gold for reality TV. Richie and Hilton's relationship abruptly ended and Kardashian stepped in to fill the void left by their connection in Hilton's heart. Kardashian revealed to Rolling Stone in 2015 that she and Hilton's main goal back then was garnering attention, saying, We would do anything and everything to get noticed. We were well aware of where to go, where to be seen, and how to have a story published about you. All you had to do was go to this restaurant or this party, discuss anything you wanted, and it would be in the newspaper the next day. Hilton and Kardashian both posted flashback photos from an Ibiza vacation they had sometime in 2006. They clearly found purpose in their trip, and judging by the images, headbands did as well. Number 2. When Kim learned of her sentence in 2007, she backed Paris. Hilton was given a 45-day prison term in May 2007. In an interview with Hollywood.tv, Kardashian said that she contacted Hilton after her conviction, emphasizing the idea that you have to support those that you love. In contrast to her sister, Chloe, who only snapped photographs when dropping her off for her sentence, it seems that Kardashian offered Hilton true support during her time of need. The relationship between Paris Hilton and Kim Kardashian has seen its shares of highs and lows throughout the years. According to sources, in April of 2008, Hilton declared on a Los Angeles radio broadcast that Kardashian's butt looked like cottage cheese wrapped in a garbage bag, which pretty much ensured that the two were no longer friendly. There is at least that. Kardashian subsequently claimed that Hilton had phoned to apologize. Kim Kardashian has spoken out many times about her bond with Paris Hilton. The following year, Kardashian admitted to drifting away from Hilton in an interview with Harper's Bazaar, but she seemed to be extremely okay with it. She said to the publication, We don't actually converse. Everyone enters your life for a cause, a season or a lifetime, as I often say, and she spent a lot of time in my life. At some point in life, you just start to grow apart and discover that you're not as alike as you once believed. I also never encounter her any place. Isn't it so strange? Finally reuniting in August 2014, Kim and Paris discussed the good old days. At the birthday celebration for Italian fashion designer Riccardo Tisci in 2014, which took place in Ibiza, Kardashian and Hilton seemed to be cordial, and based on Kardashian's Instagram message, they discussed what transpired during their vacation in 2006. Even one of Hilton's catchphrases, Love It, was thrown in. Number 1. Kim's Rise to Fame 2007 is a very significant year for Kim Kardashian. 
Not for the finest reasons, but shortly after her celebrity exploded, Kim made news when a sex video with her previous lover Ray J was made public at the age of 25 just as she was beginning to establish her profile by developing close friendships with the biggest stars in the Hollywood business. The tape is said to have been recorded back in 2002 when Kim was 21 and Ray was being Ray. At that point, Kim and the rest of her family had already secured their own reality television series keeping up with the Kardashians as much as it hurt Kim psychologically and according to her reputation, it also catapulted her into a position of worldwide fame very rapidly. And that about wraps up another great video which we know you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel with the notifications turned on so you can stay up to date with our latest videos going forward. We'll see you guys soon. Until then, take care and goodbye.